Joining us here at Ole's Performance, today I want to talk to you guys about guide work and how it has an impact of the final result of the cylinder head. These set of cylinder heads were shipped to us in here, and the valve stem in the guide was pretty much swimming. I mean, it measured uh, over five and a half thou. Um, that's pretty extensive. Like I said, they were they were just you know wobbling around in there. So uh, we explain that to the customer. The customer wants us to go through these heads. How important really is the work done prior to doing the valve job? It's extremely important. Uh, the accuracy has to be there. And you need to really take your time and you really need to set up the clearance between the valve stem intake and its valve guide or valve liner, whatever you might have in here at the time when you were conditioned. Uh, and same with the exhaust. Uh, and the clearances, the way we set them up, differ a little bit. We put a little bit more into the exhaust side uh, than we do to the intake side. But that kind of sets the pace. Uh, your clearance is going to set the pace for how good or how accurate your valve job is going to be. Here's a case where typically what you'd see is the valves may be swimming or worn out in the factory cast iron guide. Um, here we had a shop prior, not sure exactly when, install bronze valve guides in it. Nothing wrong with that, installing bronze guides into it. We feel that it's unnecessary in the iron heads. Uh, that liners will suffice. We typically put bronze guides in, whereas we had something destroyed. Um, a customer might have broke a valve did some heavy damage to the uh, guide itself, the factory guide. So we'll use that as a repair. We'll bore it out and we'll put a bronze guide in it at that point. Or we might even put just an iron guide in it uh, back to kind of its original material. But in this case, customer had, or prior to him receiving the engine, someone installed bronze guides in it. I think what had happened is when they called out the clearance or the, the guides that they decided to use, um, they didn't realize that after the fact that it had a significant amount of clearance. Once it's done, I think the shop just sent it out the door that way. Uh, but neither here and there, we're going to correct it. We've started the process. We've went ahead and bored out the bronze guide and we put a bronze liner into it rather than uh, bang out all the guides in this thing. It, it's convenient. It's easy. It's more cost effective less chances, less risk on an older head like this. So that's the route we decided to take. And we're in the process right now of, uh, of sizing this. And once we're done sizing this and getting those clearances correct, we're going to set up and we're going to lay our valve job in. So it's really about the importance of the accuracy when you first start off, and this is the first procedure in a head of what you do. It might be right after cleaning them and magnafluxing them. But this is the first procedure, and the accuracy really makes a difference in how that valve job is going to come out uh, at the end or the end result. So thanks for joining us here at Ole's Performance and Machine. Uh, tune in every now and then. Like and share our page. If you have any questions, you could give us a call toll-free, 1-800-382-1320. Take care. Thanks.